series, The Fosters, Terry Polo and Sherry Song play a couple raising five teenagers. So even when they spend their precious few minutes alone, they're still worried about the kids. Take a look. How do you know that Connor doesn't have a crush on Jude? Really? Connor doesn't seem gay to me. <laughs> no one ever seems to think I seem gay. Oh, unlike me, I guess. Well, the cop uniform doesn't exactly help. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to arrest you then. For what? For profiling. And for perpetuating sexual stereotypes. Oh, you're gonna have to cuff me first. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Please welcome Sherry Song, Terry Polo, and Maya Mitchell. show about a typical American family, a multiracial two-mom family of seven with biological adopted and foster children. How much did you guys know about this going in? A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, though. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a quick education. We got uh, down and dirty really quick, so. Yeah. I don't know how you even prepare for parenting five kids on TV, because that sounds like a lot no matter what. But there aren't many shows on TV that depict a lesbian couple raising kids together, so how did you prepare for that role? Um, uh, well, there's not, I, I took one look at Sherry and said, well, yeah, okay, I'll play a lesbian. Look at this. <laughs> The steaminess doesn't look like too much of a reach. You guys are a steamy couple. I, I always say, I say people, Woo! someone, had called, us, someone had called us brave at one point because we had a, a photo shoot where we were kissing for some stage photos, yeah. and I'm like, I'm brave to kiss Terry Polo. <laughs> I don't think Most people are. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, you know, we were talking about the obvious chemistry, but, but also as two moms. I mean, and, 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 you know, I think if you live in New York, you do know a lot of two mom families, two dad families, but I think that this has struck a chord, you know, this is just a show about parenting and families, right? It's about, yeah, it's about families, it's, it's about family, it's about love, there's, there's, it, uh, I think the education that, that I received um, was that there's, there's no difference, there, there is absolutely no difference, um, um, why should there be any difference between um, straight love or gay love or lesbian love or what have you? Straight it's, parenting, uh, I mean, there's no, it's not... You know, the terrible twos aren't any different if they're, yeah, you know, exactly. throwing things at two moms, two dads, or a mom and a dad. What I'm mean, saying is, is, you know, it's DNA doesn't make a family love does. And, right. and it's, it's just, it's been a, a long time coming, and, and here we are. We're, we're stinking proud. Yeah. It's wonderful. Maya, I know. Yeah. One of the great things on TV is when you can bring light to different situations. And I know in this show, you get to show what it's like to go through the adoption process, something that obviously is close to a lot of people's hearts across the country. What's it been like for you to play the role you're playing on the show? Um, I mean, yeah, when I was auditioning for the show, what I was thinking about was to play a foster kid. And I didn't really think much about the two mom side of things because I grew up, I was lucky I grew up with a lot of my friends had two moms or two dads. So that was never something that came into my, my decision making process around like the show. And so when the show came out and it was kind of controversial, I was like kind of taken aback and shocked that there was something to even talk about. Um, but yeah, it's been good. I mean, we have gotten to, to know a lot of foster kids and um, spoken to a lot of those kids who say that it's really meant a lot to them to have their stories told as well, so it's, it feels good. And our old friend Rosie O'Donnell is a recurring character on the show. Yeah! We love. We love you, Rosie! And we all love Rosie, we miss her. And in real life, Rosie's been a foster parent, and, and I've heard that you guys have all sort of become, I don't want to use the word advocate, but advocates and enthusiasts and, sure. and real experts on the foster care system. What have you learned about the foster care system in this country? I wouldn't say an expert. I don't know if I don't know if anybody's an expert on the foster care. You know more. You know more for, for not, playing this role, right? Yeah. yeah, it's a complicated situation. Yeah, sure. We've learned a lot, like on the show, dealing with um, you know foster kids have to deal with their identities being stolen and all kinds of things you just don't think about, yeah. you know. And uh, it's it's an education. We've yeah. we've really learned a lot, and there's there's uh, a lot of work to be done. Yeah, yeah. And not to end on a very light note, but um, the fabulous Jennifer Lopez is your executive producer, right? Is she cool to work with? I imagine her being sort of... <laughs> the guys in here were excited. <laughs>
four more beautiful <laughs> women. So I'm not hot. sure I've seen in one picture. Oh, huh? but is, it, is, is it fun? Oh, is it fun? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah um, she's the best. She's, she's so cool. cool. She's yeah. a powerful she's woman. Awesome. Yeah. She is. She's into so many different projects, and she um, still gives her love to the show and support to the show. You know, it's near and dear to her heart. Um, she had an aunt who was gay, and she felt like she wondered if she could have had a fam wanted a family and never felt like she could have. So I think the Foster's is really important, um, you know, an homage to her aunt. Exactly, think, that's yeah. what she's described it. Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. Please come back anytime you want. We love yeah. having you. Thank you. Our thanks to Sherry Song, Sherry Polo, and Maya Mitchell. The Fosters airs Mondays at 8 p.m. on ABC Family. We'll be right back.